tighten this up. Shut up. <laughs> we got over here to Ennis and uh, realized we left the uh, key for that at home. So uh, went in the uh, right by in O'Reilly. We just went in Dollar General. But uh, no Harbor Freight's nearby. But um, O'Reilly doesn't even have an angle grinder that you can buy in stock. So uh, we just got this $9 hacksaw. Get it off of there with that. You gotta stand over there. They pull it breaking in that train. I don't do the beer can trick, but I gotta get in here to get my beer can. This way it won't be pulling out. I used to use one of these back in the old days. Jerry Lopez River Rat would say horse shit. Alright guys, we're out here at uh, Texas Motorplex. I think I've already got a sunburn. Um, but uh, yeah, I got Misfit out here. Just been walking around, catching up with folks. And uh, we're about to go up and uh, make our first test hit. It's Friday, we only get one run today, so. Which is fine, so as we have no idea what's gonna happen. So we're gonna just try to send it and get us some data and see how it goes. Hopefully it'll go all right, and then we can uh, build on it from there, so. What you think? Yeah, it sounds way better, for sure. I'm sure it needed everything we did to it. You on that funnel? I brought it. I'd probably just... This rat tank is on the way. I think it might be a little bit lean on the idle. What do you think? 
It may be. I think I'm on a So we're in the lanes. It's Friday. We get one run today, so um, this is gonna be it. So gonna be it for today. Okay. Well, what you want me to do? Just see what it'll do. Or yeah. It I know. Know. If you get out of the way, I'll jump on that fuel logger and go on right here. Pretty car. Yeah. Got a nice little. Sun's about to set back here. It cooled off a little bit. Found something to eat. Yeah, I'm kind of quitting shaking a little bit. I done got my sugar done got low. Yeah, that um, getting up at 3 a.m. and then driving seven hours and then going racing is, is pretty tough, but it's all right. Well, look at all this fun. Yeah. Would well, really be fun if this thing would go straight. It ain't necessarily going to set no record. Just let me see if we're going in the right direction with the chance that I can bring the power back to it. Yep. Yep, we're going to try to do that. I uh, forgot my memory cards for the GoPro, so we won't have any GoPros on this one, but I got this phone, so <laughs> I'm going to go to Walmart and get some memory cards tonight. So we'll have them for tomorrow. But anyway, we'll let y'all know how it goes. Mississippi down at Summit, not too far from Macomb. Father son operation. You can see TK on the outside of the car. He's got dad on the inside turning the steering wheel and operating the pedals and shifting those gears. Gerald Griffin. Griff has got the Ford Ranchero poised to poised to shine over there on the Toyota side of the racetrack. Should be a good match right here. for a lot of fun and a quick run. Whoa, Griff pulling those wheels off, off of the racetrack and he's gonna get away first and he's gonna finish first. Yeah, I don't even know it was. Yeah, that was weird. I'm, I'm having to look back at the video in a second. It's still a 129, 60 foot, so it wasn't that off. I don't know, see like it, but it kind of surprised me because I like it took off straight. Yeah, it went straight. For the first time ever. But then it just started. My immediate thought was I'm thinking that it was spinning the tires and it got worse and worse. So I went ahead and hit a high gear and simply pulled it down. I think it yeah. did a little ways through there. So I'm Let me go grab the time slip. Look, we got the first lot of, lot of data on that pass anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy. It looked like it went dead straight. Uh, if anything, you gotta, you gotta realize it's four years ago. yeah, I don't know. It, it ended up drifting a little bit right, actually. I don't know if you, you might have just drove it right, anticipating it. I'm so used to it. Yeah, because that's kind of that's how it looked. But um, did the front wheel come up? I couldn't really tell. He kind of like he, he tore out of there. He ran a red light. He ran a 59. Um, did he red light? No, he was just he was an 033. So he was just he just, he just that good. <laughs> Well, nah, he ran a 59. Yeah, he skinned it on down through there, you know. I kind of pulled on him there for a second, yeah. I thought, and then, uh, anyway, I wasn't worried about him. I just want to get this junk down the track for a yeah. change. It's a 129, 60 foot, so I mean, I, that's only, what, a hundredth off of? That wouldn't have, we wanted the gear change too. I would have thought yeah. that would have hurt it worse Now, mile an hour was down by a good bit. Look at that, a minute and a half reaction time. Oh, that's a 60 foot. 
hey, I'm happy with that. Yeah. We made it down. All the changes we made. Yeah. You know, of course, I'd love for it to have been faster, but uh. Yeah. Did you uh? Did you like, lift a little early? You think or? It's, on, it's only 120. I, I could have did. Cause I don't know. It, it, I was wanting to lift because it was shaking so bad. Yeah. I, I think it was just shaking the tires or what. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. It, it just said it. It seemed lazy off the line. But it, obviously it wasn't. I guess I'm just used to all the drama. It wasn't dramatic. It just, but it sounded like it was breaking up or something to me. But I, his yeah. car is loud, so I couldn't you really. Yeah, that's true too. I don't know. We'll roll with that. See what we can do tomorrow. I'll be a lot better on my game for sure. Yeah, it might play with the uh, tire pressures. I don't know if I, I don't know if I'll mess with anything else though. Well, you couldn't have the front end coming by. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hit, I wanted to hit the wheel bar. Yeah. I'd say overall, pretty satisfied with that, but uh, it did something on the, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it sounded real good. I don't think it was just something, it was just, it was just shaking it was real. Yeah, but it's definitely, I mean, it, something definitely happened on the top end, because the mile an hour is at least eight mile an hour off. driving on back, I said I don't want to check this. Yeah. Yeah. On the left side of the racetrack, the Ruby Tortilla in 2016. About half. Maybe half the time. I mean, that's really. Ah. Well, I didn't go back and reach the barrel valve up like I said it was. I was kind of afraid it would fit in the flat spot and that ball boom whenever I hit it. Yeah. A lot of that was me. I just, we don't just make so many changes at all. I want to get this. I got a lot more confidence in the old, old hide now than I did. It's just hard to pull the trigger on something. You don't know which way it's going to go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy with that. We would load the car, we can raise the wheel to ball up. We can break that for the boy. Get back with us third of that tape. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, I can, uh, I can put it on the computer and uh, we can slow it down and actually see, go frame by frame. But I'm really surprised that the 60 foot is not slow because it looks slow as hell to me. But well, it, felt, just, it felt yeah. slow all the way down. Like I said, it shook so hard. And uh, whenever I shifted, it didn't stop. As a matter of fact, I think it might have actually shook harder. And, uh, it was like it right up under. I kept looking for something coming through the floor. Yeah. Both from the east side of the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex and made a Oh well. Way it is. Yeah. Alright, well that's a Friday night here, so I guess I'm right now. This is Dell. Chantel put together the best bunch of gasers I've seen in a while. Yeah, that's a really nice group of cars. It's a nice like, car. It's a really quality cars. A lot of new cars that I hadn't seen, too, um, that are really, really nice. Fast cars. Like, a lot of these guys have really stepped up, too. Like, um, like uh, Mr. Gerald, Mr. Griffin. Um, I didn't even know he had a blower motor in that car. But I didn't know I he had slipped that up in here yeah. all week. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you what really cool. I don't know if you know, we put on this behind the front of the car pit and all the front of the car guys coming over yeah there. that was Man, awesome that, i wish they, i had i wish i had a video of that because that was really cool yeah, like right. they all came out there and, they didn't know i'd skin their ass up yeah. but anyway so we'll just we'll go back and read the data and see what it says and come back tomorrow yeah we got good oil pressure that's one thing i was worried about i had a lot of stuff i was worried about i checked a lot of worries off my list right now did i do enough of a burnout yeah, I mean, it was pretty good. And, like, he – I mean, that, that was another cool thing, too, is, I mean, y'all put on – I mean, the, the fans were cheering and everything because he, he did a long burnout, too. Yeah. Um, so we were we didn't yeah. hang him out or nothing, you know, so. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. I, yeah. I don't want to hang nobody out over yeah. there monkeying around for all the stuff we do. But. No, I think it was pretty good. I mean, and it, like, I think the procedure and everything with just me was fine. Um, Jimmy was going to help unhook the hook, which which uh, is nice. I just had to make sure he did it right the first time. But I had told him to yeah. he was going to do it, so anyway, he didn't but, um, anyway, Oh, well, we, we could always use some help. Yeah. He's a good dude. The coach had me some bacon over there, too. Mm -hmm. He had been known to fabricate a tail when it comes to bacon. He'll hoard it. I don't want you to get on out of my way because the way it's been doing, I ain't want to hit nobody. I took the gear out thinking it calmed it down. I think it made it worse. 
Yeah, yeah you did two two big wheelies. So. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it looks spectacular. It did. That was the deadest looking pass I ever made. Yeah, hey, mine went pretty straight for a change. Well, it might have wheelie, but it did go straight. Yeah. I was having trouble with it coming over, and I finally yeah. squared it up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It looked good. Both. Oh, I need to go give her some. I like she was asking, but it looked like she was telling. Nobody ain't telling. I'm just asking to make sure that everybody's going to go in social. Yeah. We're going to go social. Excellent. I got to go. Beer. Good run, man. I didn't even get to see it. I know. I was hectic. I couldn't either. I just looked at it. I hope somebody videoed it. I got I got a pretty good video oh, from good. my side. Yeah. I'll send That's you right. so. it. Facebook. I, yeah. I, I know somebody now I can put on Chad. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 He's coming. Look out. He's coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yesterday. <laughs> can you guys hear me or do you want me to use this? No, thank you. Try it. You're good. <laughs> is this better? Yeah. 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 Can you hear, but can you hear me? Do you guys prefer this or are, are you okay here? Just talk to us. What with y'all? I don't need this. No, no. Okay. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, that's what I said last night. I was like, I've got a big mouth. I'm surprised that y'all can't hear me. Thanks for thanks for y'all coming. I know it's super windy, and uh, but I hope we're gonna have a good time. And I hope that the well, the wind is pushing this way, so I think everybody's gonna probably get in fives today. Uh, so thank you thanks for coming. Also, want to thank the Southern Outlaw Gassers for coming up here. Uh, these guys make a big long pull. We've got people from, and I know I'm not going to get everybody, but like Johnny Rebs from Alabama. Um, we got Mississippi, um, Louisiana. A lot of those guys make the big pulls. And then we've got Le Leland coming in from Nebraska. Bob Larson is from Kansas. Uh, and then we got New Mr. New, got York. York. New York. Yeah. New York. Yeah. Mr. New York. Yeah. I mean, he came uh, what, almost 1,500 miles. And I know everybody puts in some big miles. Uh, I looked at the top three, and I think I know who they are, but uh, I know Rodney uh, sealed the deal there with 1,493 miles. So, uh, uh, Rodney was the longest hauler. And for those of you, I know that, um, or I, I think you guys all know who Jesse Holmes is. Uh, he had gun smoke. He was, uh, he started the Southern Outlaw Gassers. And you know, Jesse, he was so, uh, I don't cry. Uh, he was, okay. he was so uh, kind and generous to all of us. And he was a good friend to everybody. Um, so, what, he would always send me money. He would always, you know, just surprise me. It come through PayPal, and it would say, for gas, for whatever you need, just for the races. He said, just put it towards gas. So, going forward, I'm doing a long haul award in Jesse's memory. So uh, that's what this is. It's got his uh, his uh, sticker that uh, Tommy made. I don't know where Tommy is, but oh, he, oh, hey. So with that, Rodney, thank you for making your 1,493 miles. But see me afterwards so I can uh,
about the same, then. Yeah, it really don't seem to make that much of a difference. That little gauge in there kind of, I got cracked and kind of jumps a little bit. Yeah. I didn't, uh, I didn't look at this one out here. All right, so we're back out here for day two. We already made one pass today. It got kind of uh, got kind of hectic, and uh, now we're about to a couple minutes here. They're gonna call us again. So, um, uh, so anyway, the first pass it was about the same 60 foot. Um, it seemed real lazy. Uh, you richened it up a little bit. Uh, we raised our wheelie bars up a little bit, raised the tire pressure up a little bit, and everything seemed to help for the most part. Still down on mile an hour on the top end. Um, and it kind of it was kind of popping a little bit so yeah, i went what 15 numbers on the uh field I yeah i'm going to go enough to make a difference so obviously i mean it's, it's weird that it's going straight so i can actually start trying to tune and play with it so yeah anyway getting some responses out of it so yeah went back five numbers the other way on the field so we're going to see what this pass will do to it yeah so uh, overall et was was quicker but I'd say still a little slow to uh, 330, little faster to 330 than last night, but still a little slow overall. Um, and like I said, that we're still missing six mile an hour on the top end. Well, so the front end ain't even much harder coming up. So you went up on yeah. the wheel bar and the tire pressure. So. Yeah. So uh, this this next pass, I went uh, made another adjustment up on the wheelie bars, another small adjustment on tire pressure up, uh, leaned it out a little bit. So we're gonna try that see how it goes so uh it's a uh, not super hot out here it's cloudy and very windy so which is i'm not complaining about that it was hot yesterday so but uh anyway yeah so we're gonna go yeah, i was sitting in the stage lane i thought there was somebody leaning on the car that's the wind rocking me That's yeah in the stage lane. yeah it's pretty windy but, but some uh, way as much as this it don't matter it's right but uh anyway so we're gonna try this one and see how it goes got gopros today went and bought uh went and bought some fresh memory cards at walmart so uh it's good because we got i got the in car and we're, we're able to get a little data as far as rpm and boost numbers go um so that's one reason we want to do the in car and then uh of course we got the 360 rocking up there too so we'll have some good some good views for you guys uh i think gerald might have broke his pretty bad doing a big burnout that was going to be another a good match because he run a 59 last night and we went a 61 that pass so it would have um it would have been a good race uh it was it was not good but it was better so yeah i think it was a point two something like that so so i mean that's that's twice as good as it was last night so yeah um so uh so yeah it sucks he sucks he broke uh because that would have been a good uh good match race but uh anyway but we're gonna go try it again now, i don't know exactly what he broke i saw some metal laying on the track so that's usually not a good sign um so but i don't know maybe he can get it fixed and get back out there so yeah what happened years oh dang okay. 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 a lot worse i don't need everything get back yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's same it's same same it is what it is so. <laughs> there's always a weak link i keep fighting find a weak link yo twisted the yoke off You know, I doubt it's uh, any sport I've ever been around in as many unsung heroes as what drag racing is, and especially since the gastros and old school racing. Man, that's right up my alley. You know we all love this kind of stuff. We over here in, in uh, Funny Car Chaos in Ennis, Texas, 2024, and I reached out and just grabbed this lady right here, Chantel. This is the backbone of the Dirty South Gassers, and I see stuff on YouTube and everything, but you've never had a spotlight put on you, have you? No. I mean, and, but you're the one. I mean, what? how did you start it? What made you want to fool with these guys? Because we all raggedy. <laughs> well, you, you, no, you good. You guys are good. I mean, it's... We got into it uh, maybe a little over 10 years ago, and um, 
we bought a gasser out in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and we had started uh, racing in the nostalgia events. There were only a few out here in the Dallas area, and we, we enjoyed it, but the nostalgia was maybe um, 81, 82 and back, and so we really wanted to run with other cars that were similar to ours. You know, we, did, we wanted to run with something, you know, pre- 66, pre 70, something like that. So we got to talking with uh, Keith Fox, with Poison Gas. Um, we got to talking with him and we decided to just start our own group. We had been running with, prior to Funny Car Chaos, uh, Chris ran an SHRA series, which was, uh, it, it was, it was a nostalgia event, same thing. Um, but we kind of wanted to run with, with some other cars that were similar to ours. And so, we spoke to Keith Fox and we said, hey, let's start our own group. So we did that. And Dirty South Gassers. Yes, and so Dirty born. South Gassers <laughs> became born. And, um, you know, we had initially, our vision was to uh, just have it Gassers, but we had so many other people that came to us and said, hey, we, we're kind of in the same boat. Yeah. And so uh, we uh, had opened it up a little bit um, more to some other uh, types of cars, you know, some altereds and uh, some of the nostalgia super stock and but as it evolved uh, we're really now focusing more on just the gassers free 66 gassers yeah. and you know and because of that we met uh, Jerry Lopez with the river rat and he introduced us to uh, mm -hmm. he did, because of Jerry I'm here because of Jerry you know and he had introduced us to uh, the southern outlaw gasser so yeah. we made our first uh, SOG race in either 2017 or 2018 and you know it's such a fantastic group and we bonded with them and just like you know you have it yeah. you know and so all of us have come together and we go to their races and and uh, y'all come to ours and it's, it's just been a fantastic thing and it's grown from there all right so we're up for our second run of the day get ready to go up we're going to match race this little ultra wheel base so far back here should be pretty cool a couple of ultra wheel base cars Ready? Made a few more changes several hours later, so. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. I think. Got all these little altars rolling up here. They got a bunch of cars in their class. That's pretty cool. TDRA. A lot of injected altars, a few blown cars, a few funny cars. Their deal. Pretty neat. He beats a 685, 99 miles an hour. Hudson was... Max Attack taking that uh, Toyota lane, the Misfit, the Ford Fair Lane on the loopy side. Injector stacks, right side, supercharged fuel injected Rodak on the left side as they are cooking down the racetrack. Misfit puts a wind light on. Yeah, we had a 27 at the shop. Yeah, I think.
think we had a 28 too. So we done got over here to Texas and Misfit's going straight, but it's slow. So we over here digging in the swamp meat, see if we can make it go fast. That's what we got. That's a 31, we're better than that on a 31. 28. I'd probably put it up around 30% overdrive wood if my brain works right yeah. I really don't think it's gonna make any difference. I think that blo I think that blower is doing all it's gonna do. Unfortunately. Does anybody else here need to aim for? Why not took care of everybody? I think we done took care of everybody. I don't know. The only one that beat us broke, so we beat him. Yeah. So we're him, so we one and one with him. Alright guys, we're up in, in the lanes for our third run, um, sun setting is beautiful, unfortunately we just had a little uh, on track incident, our buddy Todd Barker in the back in black, funny car, had a little incident, uh, hoping, hoping he's okay, um, but uh, so we're just kind of waiting on them to clean that up, and uh, hopefully he's not, uh, he's not injured or anything, um, we might try to run over there and check on him here in just a second, but um, yeah, so it's been crazy out here but uh anyway so we're gonna think we're gonna make one and done obviously um we haven't really been able to make any improvements for whatever reason the car just doesn't seem to want to run on the top end uh it's going straight uh which is great so but it's just not getting any faster so so we may just make this run see what it does and then uh pack it up head home and we've got a few changes we want to make uh maybe we can show that to you guys before dad heads to baton rouge unfortunately i got to hit the road again and be in pennsylvania the same weekend so but anyway it's all good but yeah we'll try to make some changes see if we can get this sucker a little faster well, here comes the misfit out of summit mississippi tommy killingsworth They've been part of a big Mississippi delegation that's here at the Motorplex this weekend. And Tommy and TK have been really putting on a great show as they've got this car firing on all eight and doing some damage out there, getting wind light after wind, after wind light. They wind up with uh, nobody to race this time. So they'll race the clock.
a lot of you guys know that he passed away uh, last year, and um, he was a hot rodder, he was a car builder, he had a bunch of trophies. Back tracker, thank you. There you go. There's a little, little thank you in there. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. And, uh, okay, so next up, let's do... Yeah, Man, I got the Red Bone Ray Award, Memorial Award. Phone storage filled up, so I got a vertical video on the other phone. Okay, well. <laughs> but while she was explaining all that, until it uh, stopped me for some reason. Yeah, she said her dad passed like a year ago, and uh, this is in memorial for him and whatever. Yeah. So pretty cool deal. Yeah. I think we're to death, man. Wasn't expecting nothing. We just here to have a good time. And that's what it's all about in the first place. Of course, this always makes it a little bit better, but, yeah. you know, regardless, we are, we're happy to be here and tired and ready to go home. <laughs> but, uh, either way, as I say, we are, I say, just can't really say enough for the amount of work these guys put into all of this stuff, you know, and, and everybody. I mean, we just have a good time. You know, a lot of people, I go to these races, these guys, they're so serious out there, and I can really appreciate that. I really do, but they don't have fun like we do. <laughs> they really don't. I don't think they do. They think they are, but, you know, look at these guys out here. They just out here having a blast. Lives get bigger. Cars get faster. The lives get a little bigger then. <laughs> but anyway, we uh, had, had, a, had a good weekend and everything. 